True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? Here, here, here. <laughs> what it do? What the business is? What's good? It's your boy Mel, and we back in the building and bringing the barbershop to the box office, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. Um, I'm Jay. I'm here. I'm excited for this one. This feels like New York. Let's get it. But it's not. It's not. It's definitely not. It's Philly, son. It's Philly. <laughs> What's popping, people? What's your boy, Zoe? We back again with another one. Y'all here with us on this one. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Let's get to it. Soft the yuzzle buff, B. This nigga Zoe take all my lines every time, man. Once again, <laughs> Thanks again for tuning in. It's Grown Man MJ. Uh, Jay, do y'all really be longing for New York that much? Where you that just hard? Yeah, like, dude, it's yeah, Queen Latifah and Adam Sandler, bro. Like, what? How do you not see feel New York? I, I, I get what you're saying. I get yeah. what you're saying, but it was clearly in Philadelphia. I no, 100. percent I I said, look, bro. It, nice. You said it feels I, like. New York. I said it feels like the yeah. and like the Philly. Is it feely like now? Like the one there's a look, look. The sports fans are trash on both sides because I, I resp- like New York sports fans are assholes 100%. Like 100% assholes. Like we'll never win a championship because God knows we don't deserve it because we're going to burn the city fucking down. Like the Knicks never win it. Oh my Philly God. is just right, is right fucking there with Why us. Why you get him riled up off the gate? Right fucking there with us. All right. Worst sports they fans ever. They're up. assholes. They're oh, mean. Hey. They're rude. They ate shit when the Eagles won. Literally ate shit. That is inappropriate. But shout out to them because <laughs> they gave us inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but that. But shouts out to them because they gave us fucking Beanie Siegel and free. And <sighs> yeah, Beanie like the beginning is general. Stay pro- yo. State this property had no hard, yo, those jackets with the secret compartment where the cops couldn't find you. We back in the day was different, but shout out to that jacket, shout out to state property clothing, and anybody that wore state property bubble jacket would definitely rob you in broad daylight, no mask 100 percent That is not an allegedly or nothing. Those motherfuckers were ruthless, but shout out to them. So I love the city. One of my best female friends is from that city, so I fucking rock with it. But y'all do not deserve victory in God anything. Damn, G. Okay, you, Boston, and New York. We is I mean, New York deserves it more than you because we just spit on niggas. We don't eat shit. But wow, that was long. That was a long winded way of answering. That was that very long. long. I don't give a shit, York. nigga. Don't start. Don't start. You <laughs> should know. Man, everybody's man, you, you, you're everybody saying a lot is. about the whole spectrum of the East Coast. You man. listen, That's bro. I don't give a shit. I, Yo, this is not for you guys. This movie is not. Matter of fact, I'm upping my score. Fuck that shit. It's a five. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. That's why right. it's in the chat. It's what official. What the fuck was that? What did you? Do? I, 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 that was my enter key. I put it. I put it in the chat. I, Man, I look. I did want to shout out uh, Nemo <laughs> Drip on Twitter. Thank you for suggesting this movie for us. Uh, yeah, man. I hope we. I hope you get some entertainment value out of this. We finna go ahead and tackle it. All right. Um, so this one is hustle. Um, I want to. I'm very. I want to thank Netflix for giving Adam Sandler a uh, platform. Not everything. He don't need it. He got Happy Gilmore. That motherfucker go wherever the no, fuck he want. Distribution platform. That's sick. Yeah. But like, I just love the content that he's putting out. Not everything is a hit, obviously, but it's not meant to be. It's just like I'm biased. It, it's Adam, man. It's, yeah, I was like, I'm it's, biased. It's Happy Gilmore, man. Like, 
It's fucking. It's I water boy. Right? up already. I'm biased, man. I don't I'm give a, a shit. I'm, like, I'm an Adam Sandler fan, so 100. So yeah, I'm with you on that. I even Shout watched that Hubie Hubie Halloween shit. I was dying. Um, yeah, listen, bro. Um, but yeah, this week on the True View Podcast, we're reviewing Hustle, currently streaming on Netflix. It's an Adam Sandler comedy drama. Um, yeah, so what is it about? After a down on his luck, basketball scout discovers an extraordinary player abroad. Hey, you he, read that with the feeling too. Like I really felt like you was down on your luck when you read that part. Was it, it was this a sigh at the beginning? Yeah, you was down. 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 Hey, man, hey, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to live in this reality. You know what no, I'm saying? Man, tackle, that, um, tackle that character. But if I could that. get the other sentence after this comma. Oh it was, shit! It wasn't a period. It wasn't a period. So let me just keep going. Good luck. Uh, he brings the phenom back to the states without his team's approval. It didn't say states, but I threw that in there because I just wanted to. Do that. Like he put a G in the phenom. Something. That yeah, sounded like he said phenom. Phenom or something. Phenom. I said phenom. I said phenom. I said phenom. I said, I said listen, you country motherfuckers. I said phenom. Don't get me started today. All right, I'm irritable. All right, I have. I'm. I'm it's hungry. the red man. It's the red. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I love when creators have the power to do what the fuck they want and don't give a fuck because I feel it in the air playing in any movie. Like, I didn't know I needed that. Feel it in the air in a backdrop of a movie. I didn't realize like that shit because not it immediately brought me back to the, the the music video itself, and I remember that shit felt like a movie. So to see it on the big screen, man, I thought that was dope. Like I was yeah. like like free like Beanie Siegel is not the kind of rapper that you want in any of your shit, but like nobody but Adam Sandler would do this. I know I or know has the power to do that so. He I want to score the film. At, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Adam Sandler. I can did. see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can see that. I can one hundred percent see that. Now I want to bring up because I know we bring it up in in previous reviews and everything. Mike, do you consider this one pandering? I mean, no. Uh, now, if he would have came in and played some of the happy, dreaded hip hop, the Tribe Called Quest, the De La Soul, <laughs> something like that. Then I would have been like, yeah, he's what did you call it? He... Happy huh? dreaded, happy dreaded. Yeah, no. the, the colorful, happy no, no, no. dreaded hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You a fool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, what you mean? Son, ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with Crossbow. Yeah, yeah, Zoe hey. don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's talking about, too, though. That's the thing. I was but, like, man, what? The, no. the the happy dreaded is fine, but why you gotta Ooh. why you gotta go against cross? I'm not saying bro? nothing's wrong with. It. I'm not saying nothing wrong with. It. I'm just saying that's 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 usually the go to for the pander for uh, yeah. the pander. You that's know what I'm pander. saying for yeah. The let pander. me get the hip hop on my side. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, well, see, he really but no, I, I think I think I think uh, Adam Sandler is involved with hip hop. He's always oh, yeah. trying to have yeah. He's always trying to have you know his his ear to it. And and he kept it uh, regional. Now I think he could have also included some more like roots or some shit like that, some uh, mm. some more of the R&B neo soul type shit to it. But uh, I'll get in, I'll get into that in the short bus because I don't think the script went that. Right, you know what I mean? So it really didn't. I mean, I think he did all right. He put put two short in there. He had a few. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was pandering. I think that's his. His uh, so text I actually or think he listens to that stuff. Yeah, that's that's how I feel. But what was the song he was listening to? What was the song he was writing to? Um, in the car and and reciting before the news came about the owner of the team. You should be getting it. Everything you're getting is wrong. Yeah, that was that. I mean, like, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like for him to the. There was nothing disingenuous about the music that played, and um, I and that was kind of why I, I would never call it pandering. Um, 
No, I wouldn't either. I just wanted to. Yeah, I no, I, I respect it. Yeah. Um, do we want to have anything? No, he, else? Think, he think I got like this militant bias, and I'll just really be calling out what I see as bullshit, dog. Like, well, no, you are a little, cause cause a little militant. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, bro, because I really feel like I really feel like, you know, we don't have no kind of gatekeepers to it. They gonna tear it up and bastardize it any way they they feel. And so, yeah. like when you see it, when you see it done that way, you kind of got to call them on it. And make them accountable. That's all I'm hey, saying. Hey, you remember that dance instruction video that uh, with the white lady, where she's like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you're about <laughs> Mike has not let that go. Mike is paying them back once payback for the cold crush. Like he is not letting that shit go. Well, no, man. It's like oh, when no. I see these opportunities <laughs> to actually point out what we mean. Like when we bring up yeah. these topics, I know it, like in people that listen to all of our past episodes, we bring up a lot of this shit and it, it gets repetitive. But when somebody really does it correctly, I do want to highlight that as well, just so y'all can go back and see that we're not people. angry black men, people. Right. That we don't hate <laughs> white people. Like we're not like you will not, I'm not a black Israelite with a samurai outfit saying fuck the white. Like as that's not it. I just but certain shit is bullshit. Yeah, no. This is not it. This is not it. Yeah. Um, So when they get it right, we like to highlight them and and let them know as well. So, Uh, what do we? Where do we want to go next, people? Are we done with the flavor? I I I know to 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 shout out. My bad. My bad. My bad. bad. Um, I mean, I don't know. I I felt like we kind of, you know, what I'm saying we. He said Adam covered it. The score on this one, Mr. Sandler did the score on this one. Oh, he did the whole thing. All right, yeah. All right, so cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's man grab the Oscar and, and let aux- auxiliary cord and let it rock. I, we just go. Can oh. we move on? Let's move on. Let's move on. Let it go. Let it go. Let it. I. I said I'm hungry and I'm tired. Let it go. Appreciate the. Let me live on that one. Let me live on that one. Um. So. <sighs> <laughs> I just gotta this is hard. This is this is very difficult. No, it, no. This is very difficult. This is Adam Sandler. So. I didn't see a lot of. Like. Short bus material. What? I didn't see a lot. I I'm biased, but I ain't blind. Fam, his speeches all needed to be cut about a hundred words. Like just take a hundred words out of that shit, make it about five minutes, like he 20 minutes shorter. Oh my god, every every inspiration you gotta want this. Do you want to die for you? Are you upset? Like it was too much, bro. And it wasn't, and then the dude's reaction, yes. I mean, he did. See that dead like ear that we kid. have right there? He did That's sound like a like. little kid in it first. It though. just we, really did. Really, yeah, it really, he was like, yeah. It really didn't work. It really didn't work. And he I hit, him with, the, he hit that, him with the Sanchez. It ain't cheese. The workout. Like, do you want it? The that, that middle workout of him going the up the hill joint, the Rocky moment, too long, too cheesy. And in the end, it got a little too cheesy for me. You know what I'm saying? But... I felt like the it was funny when he was calling him names. Uh, it was like that shit was going, because, but we could have sped that up a little. You know what I'm saying, I think that was my biggest shortcoming in it is like the drawn out monologues of inspiration that didn't really feel that got to the point where it just felt uncomfortable and queasy, and then the the training scene sequence that ran. Wait, dude, I stopped. I let it play, went to make myself a snack, came back, and they were still training and still had to sit and watch it. That was too much. To me, that was dope, in my opinion, because okay. that's how training really works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you sports this is a movie. movie. I understand that, but you how many times are we gonna watch him go up the hill? I how felt that was, I felt that like, was authentic, you know what I'm saying, to the film to be about basketball, because to me, you get people that try to recreate these types of films about 
you know, sports and people making it and they don't get no, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? The insight on what these motherfuckers really gotta do to make it. fair and be clear, be clear. I'm not saying like that scene wasn't needed. I'm saying I didn't need the tenth shot of him throwing the ball through the tire. I just did it for me. I needed five of them, maybe three, really three. You see what I'm I, saying? I, I just needed Rob fourth. Schneider. I, I needed Rob Schneider to pop up out of somewhere and just yell out, you can do it. You can do That's it. That's what was missing. That's what I was missing. Yeah. That's my short bus. I need Rob Schneider in there. I need him to make that, that funny. I need him to give me my happy Gilmore a little more. He he dropped a couple little gems on the, on the funny, but... That could have been, especially when he's going up the hill early in the morning. Somebody should have, like, leaned out the window and screamed, "Shut the fuck up!" or something. Yeah. Or maybe the guy on the bike could have talked more shit. Like, or bring the guy on the bike a little bit way more sooner, and just be like that guy that that's taunting him. Like, um, he did it in Happy Gilmore, right? Like he had the, mm -hmm. oh my god, was it Happy Gilmore? No, Billy Madison. Oh, Billy Madison. Before. Billy Madison, where it's like, um. But you have that the guy that's making fun of you throughout your training, mm -hmm. and then you finally beat him. That would have been funny. But again, and then that would have explained the drawn out the the length of the training sequence for me. But that to me was a big downfall. No, I'm uh, I'm gonna help you out, Jay. I kind of agree with you, man. And uh, and that's kind of where I was going with like the he could have had. More like some some Badu Jill Scott type shit playing, and leaned in on the uh, relationship with his daughter more because that never got, you know, uh, finalized or uh, crystallized in, in in how the story progressed. And at the end of the story, you just basically got the assumption that his daughter was on some thought shit because the way she was looking at old dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, they really ass. did. It. Yeah, no, they could they kind of they kind of did everything they could to like over sexualize the daughter and everything else, but never really. Yeah, from the opening yeah. scene, no, no, no. You're not gonna hug, hug me from the front. You go, oh, they get a frontal hug, and I get the side hug. We cross talking, we cross talking, and then we blowing. Mike, nothing that you said was uh, audible. So no, if, if no, you I heard the mail, it was clear. If yeah. you heard the mail, it was clear. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, we uh, all said the same damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the whole she got so I, that, I had that kind of a, I had that kind of an issue with the movie. Um uh, because I felt that, that was that was a good part of his story as well. For him having to be on the road and having to miss a good Not portion yet. of his daughter growing up in important it. years of her life, and she clearly was leaning in so that she needed him there. Uh that story never really got developed or or uh, finalized throughout the whole movie. So that that was Nine a short bus for me. God damn. Mm. Nine fucking birthdays, bro. Yes, in sequence. I just was like, that immediately, like, I felt that one because I was like, yo, you know, I, I used to tell, talk about how I can, like, work more or I can, you know, travel for work. And I was just thinking, like, I know people that are on the road for their jobs like three weeks out of the fucking year. And it's easy, like that's the money. That's where it's at. And like I've been trying to figure out how not to work. <laughs> <laughs> right? You see what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> like uh, how else can I make money sitting on my this, my <laughs> daughter started clapping and I got excited. So to miss nine birthdays, like I just in a yeah, man. It, I don't know, man. That's kind of that's a hard life. That, that is go a fast hard too, fucking bro. life, right? Man, that is a hard fucking life. Because imagine what so ninety birthdays in a row. Imagine what those parties look like. Like the last time he probably saw her, she was looking for a clown and a bouncy house. Like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like. You come back at 18 and she's she's out with her friends you're not even invited you just giving her the card and saying all right i guess i'll see you later yeah shit, so, 18 that's that's 15 14 16 got <laughs> <laughs> shit. oh man yeah, so yeah no I, I hear you, Mike. They, didn't, 
they didn't address that. That's yeah, that's a good that's ass point. That's a good point. Like they my touched, other shortcoming is they touched on it, but they never really they never right. went there. You know what I'm saying? And right. I, I think that's that's I, I know Adam Sandler can do that in his writing, so I'm I'm not even gonna give him no passes or nothing like that. Yeah, and he didn't even write on this, so I can't even hate. I can't even oh, throw yeah, him on it. Wasn't his fault. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but see, Mike. But see, Mike. That's why I get so upset at that training sequence, because I felt like there's so much more. Right. That story that's what I'm saying. That, I agree to you. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree a hundred percent with you, bro. Like that's that's why I was I, I came in, you know, on on the uh, on the battlefront with you. My Appreciate other you. my other take though on the short bus was you had Hernan Gomez whooping niggas ass in this movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga been in the league. We know what he can do. We can see his work. This nigga, like, like, what, like, what, what, what we choking on, dog? Like, am I tripping, dog? I immediately went up and went and looked at homie's stats. I was like, is he real? <laughs> like, yeah, he been in the league, dog. Like, hey, he look. played in New York. Look, yeah, he's with. Uh, I didn't know that was him at first. That's how, like, I I, I Google his Bo Cruz. <laughs> In the NBA, yeah, he's with Utah now. I know the name. I just, in the NBA. <laughs> I, I just, I didn't know the nigga face. I knew the, I know, I know her and Gomez's name, but uh, oh, oh my God. Shit, this dude. Oh shit! No, these movies, these movies only work and make it believable. I do like how they leaned in that he was defensive, so I do like that. Yeah, uh, but uh. These movies usually only work when you use like a young talent, like you know, uh he got game with Jesus Shuttle's work and all that type of shit. Uh damn. And you know, you know what I mean? Like Jesus G yeah. <laughs> I would have rather seen this <clears throat> being Anthony Edwards being Ernie Goldman. Exactly. Exactly. You like, see what I'm saying? Me on Anthony as opposed to what you Yeah, like with? Anthony being from Philly. You know what I'm saying? It 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 it'll be another kid from the hood movie, but I think it would have turned out better. Hmm. I think that was the issue. Is I felt like they they needed the to go international because then you know you don't have one. It's not a black and white thing in America right now with it being so polarizing. They needed to just take the talent out of America. I do think that they picked the whitest European country, like the whitest minority European country, being Spain. I'm just saying. But um, that's where talent comes from. You can't even you can't even knock it, right? But I don't. Anthony Edwards' performance in this, his he just makes me want to see him in movies. Now I love the kid from Jump, Definitely. but I just want to see him behind the screens. He's a better actor than LeBron. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> he's a better. I'm not, and I, I. I and LeBron has a whole movie, but he's a bad. I'm sorry. I felt I felt no, like he wasn't really nothing. acting, though. Like not saying that he wasn't doing a good job, but nah. that's who the fuck he is for real. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, one hundred percent. But like you, the acting to me was when Homeboy got in his head because nobody gets like this kid does not have like any any weak spots mentally. I he is so locked in and focused. Never mind, but we're, I'm sorry, we're on the short bus still. I got distracted. I got distracted. I got distracted. I got distracted. My bad. Um, I'm looking up her, Juancho's stat lines, though. It is yikes. So, with the San Antonio You see what I'm saying, though? Like, you can't have him. <laughs> with the San Antonio Spurs, he averaged 10.2 minutes, 1.4 points per game. Well, he had the time to act then because he was just sitting his ass on the beat. <laughs> 1.4 points per game. Oh, man. Three, rebar- three rebounds and um, three 0.6 assists a game. Like, that's... Huh. Oh. They they needed somebody who actually looked the part. Man, they could have used they could have used the Pascal Siakam or something. Man, they could have did well, something. They man, go that because you got the Giannis. Let's say that section. Let's say that yeah, section. You got oh, the Giannis oh. coming. So I was gonna say, give me Taco. <laughs> no, you, <laughs> oh, can't, you, can't go, yeah. you can't go black. They could not go black because they have the fucking Giannis movie coming out. 
it had to be it had to be a uh, uh, someone from abroad. Give me Jeremy Lin, because <laughs> he got his shit coming out. <laughs> he got some shit coming out too. Oh man, where where do we want to go next, man? Oh, anything else about the short bus? Yeah, we got any more short, short coming? <laughs> I thought maybe the the length. No. Yeah. No, the length the length was straight for me. I mean, pause on all of, you know if necessary. Yeah. Uh, Definitely pause. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you saying it first, but you know. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not questionable, I mean, sir. Yeah. It's <laughs> no, I mean, I think I think they did a, a, a good job because uh, I know Jay hates the the training scenes, but uh, take away the story with the daughter. This was a, a good homage to basketball. So Absolutely. I, I, yeah, I appreciated all the other little scenes I got that was, you know, the cameos and everything. I, I have a question for y'all. Oh, wait, let me, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, though, it, I love the fact that it's a homage to basketball because the last time I enjoyed a basketball movie like this was the one that we watched where they created their own league on the side. Uh, this was also on Netflix. Oh, uh, I know. Fly, uh, yeah. fly, uh, paper flame, planes, or something like that. I forgot what his name. Yeah. But, um, no, it wasn't paper planes. It was high flying. Or yeah, something. some high, yeah. Flying. high flying bird. Yeah, high flying but bird. Like, yeah, I love that they showed not. I love when they showed the business behind the game. You know what I'm saying? And that so you could, you know, it's almost like moving the curtain. But go I ahead, thought so. you was gonna say boogie. I was like, yeah. What? <laughs> What uh? What did y'all think? Cause I I don't necessarily know if I want to put this in the short bus category, but <laughs> what did you think of Queen Latifah and Adam Sandler's chemistry as husband and wife? I was actually talking to wifey about it. I believe it. It was it was cute. I bought it. I bought it because the reason yeah. why I did, I feel like if Queen Latifah's gonna male be- say cute. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah, I'm ignoring that. That's a pause. Because as a man, you can't say cute. Yeah, I, oh, right, I didn't, it, was it was adorable. It was adorable. It was adorable. We're going to put you over. We're, you're on timeout. You're in the penalty box. You got one more. You got one more. You're in the penalty box. I'm just saying. It was precious? It was precious. Cut his mic. Cut his mic, son. Get him out of here. Get him the fuck out of here. Um, I believed it just because I felt like you cannot be married to Queen Latifah if you can't joke. Be a woman. Wait, you what? Can't... Mm. <laughs> be, a, be at the house every day. You say, "What you saying?" Hey, family. Let me, let me explain something. She's from Jersey. What that mean? But we love her. Out? You gonna respect Queen? All right. I respect her. You gonna respect she Queen? Like, she we don't know what she like because she's private. Mind your business. That's a grown ass nah, woman. She didn't came out, bro. Listen, I respect the woman. I love that woman. Respect that woman. That's all I'm I saying. I respect her. Okay. I respect her choices. Yes. We're not discussing her choices. We're discussing her in this movie. Now I will say, <laughs> can I, be, I don't believe anybody that can't joke and roast and go back and forth. <clears throat> Is gonna be able to be in a relationship with her. That's why the I bought her and Adam Sandler common? more oh. than common. <laughs> Way more than common. Like that common yeah. shit was weird as fuck. Like I did not see it. She would like it, she would put him in the in an emotional like like fucking I don't know like ruin Damn. him. Like he can't handle that. Like it's just not for him. I did not believe that shit. He really Adam put, Sandler. Shit I showed a spoken shit. word at us. Yes. Not even. Yeah, I'm with you. On she that, I got I got walked, kept it moving. Hopped on a Kawasaki and dip. Like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> that was an abrupt stop, bro. What the hell? I'll let you do yeah. your rant and then you just said, skirt. <laughs> I, I'm mm-hmm. learning not to go too far. You see what I'm saying? Because I, I don't fight. I'm just saying, I don't want to disrespect him. Look at me now. Look at me now. Oh. Was that scene in Spain like a leftover cutting from Fast and Furious that, to anybody? Hmm? I remember when Fast hmm? and Furious was in Brazil and he and like Dom was like, like it's the first one where. Oh, Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. like. Brazil. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where he's like all fat and shit and got his like yeah and he's chose to wear white because that made sense dumbass um but i thought that whole scene was just ugh, ugh. yeah it's uncomfortable i, ain't like I honestly blew right over that like it was uh, but uh leaning back to what y'all was talking about with uh adam sandler queen latifah I do like how he killed them toes, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, got to, you got to put it on blast by some toes. No, I'm yeah. just saying. I thought that that's the part I thought was real cute, too, because he Stop would. Stop saying cute, feet. bro. Stop. He Cut this shit out. He would do her feet and she would do a, his hand and stuff. So I was like, oh, man, that's adorable. I will say that is nice. What? Like when you're when you are sitting on the couch and you're rubbing each other's feet, like that's kind of love. Cause well, no, I don't want my wife cutting her hands up on my feet. Nah, yeah, I, I got some. Boy. Mine, mine goes through it though. I, she she she's a precious one. Man, I got some hoofs over here. God damn, I can walk on hot coal. Just crush them motherfucker. Anyway, um, shout out to the big Serb man. I ain't know that motherfucker was that funny. <laughs> No, Boban is extremely funny. Every Boban is extremely they funny. They should have did the movie with him as the main. That would have been hilarious. Who's that? That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. He's ten years old. <laughs> Boban is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember when, like, not for nothing, but I remember when Boban got. I think it was a tech. And it was making the rounds, and everybody, every correspondent on ESPN kept saying, "Like, what the fuck did you do to Bovon?" That oh uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> remember that? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, who pisses off? Bovon? Yeah, that was recent. Like, that was recent. I was just like, who the fuck pisses off Bovon? Like, he's everybody loves this guy, man. Like, so he's kind of like he reminds me a little bit, like almost a little bit, like uh, the dude from OKC. Uh, with the beer, he's not on OKC anymore, but he had the beer. James Harden, no man, he was a tall dude from New Zealand, I think. Oh, my you talking God. about Steve Adams? Steve Adams, I felt like Steve Adams and him kind of like, uh, kind of personality wise remind me of each other. I don't know, Adam seen, I don't know, Adam is not as I'm gonna say, I don't, say, I don't think he's as likable as Boba is. Oh, because he's big yeah. herb, god damn it. <laughs> That motherfucker, I was dying when I saw him. I'm 22. Um, how old is he? 10. <laughs> so, nigga, you out here fucking at 12? Like, Do you like, have a birth certificate? Yeah. There was, you hey, popped him Big up. fire. No, bro. It was like, big fire. It was big fire. He said, Dallas think he 18. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they picked Dallas for him, though, because that is where yeah. he would. <laughs> that is where he would go. It's, oh, no, I, got, I got a couple look at me. Uh, definitely shout out to the cameos. They had Mo Cheeks. They had Dr. J in here. They had a ton yeah. of Doc NBA Doc legends in here, Philly legends in here, uh, people who hoop for the team and everything. I uh, also want to name uh, Jaleel White. Professor? Nah, we yeah, yep. that's what yep. I'm saying. I also want to say Jaleel White got in here. And I'm glad Adam Sandler or whoever decided who was the casting director on this. I'm glad your little white guy got, got some shine. Yeah. Again, he always does well. Uh, I hate that he gets, you know, blasted for the yeah. earth. Yeah. He can I, act, you know what I'm saying? Do you think it's he enough for him to pass checks, no. Do you think it's like, do you think we've kind of, he's outgrown, there's enough generations will have forgotten that he played that character? No, play. he's in heavy syndication, bro. Yeah. yeah. And I know, yeah, right? he's in heavy syndication, but <sighs> still, those are checks. So I, I would never get upset if I got like, if I did a role and <laughs> like twenty years. You got think, dog. It's, it's so many people that got to pass him up in so many roles that he did not get. Well, to, yeah, they not know, getting these I'm residual in, checks. Yeah, but honestly, you though, like, care, you know, dog. If you, it, it's, it's not really about that, dog. I hate to be a one-hit wonder and still want to rap and still putting out yeah. music and it's not being heard, dog. That's that's that's, that's Especially different, man. You're good. Especially if you're good, though. Like that's yeah. like I hear what you're saying yeah. about the. Remember, Mel. Remember, like back in the day, them contracts were fucked up. Yeah, them contracts was definitely fucked up, but he's <laughs> definitely getting residual money for a role that wasn't even meant to be as big as it was. 
So Weird. when he renegotiated his contract, he got even more money. And now, even in a time like this, you don't need these fucking companies. <laughs> if you really want to create and do it like that, get out there and do it your fucking self. You got enough money and you got the residual checks coming in. So you got a steady income. There's no excuse. <laughs> um, for me, like if I'm, if I'm, I feel like artists, right? Like there, if you're into the art form and not just for the check, it's no matter how much money you're getting from it, when they, when you're blackballed or stifled or prevented in any way from being able to perform your art, it has a lasting effect on you beyond anything that the money can cure. So for me, I'm looking at it like I'm so happy he got to be able to express himself in his art again, regardless of the money that he was getting. Because yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I didn't remember the last time, like he there was a point in time I saw after Family Matters, I saw this motherfucker three times here in this movie. He's been doing a lot of movies though. Purple, purple Urkel weed. And when he tried to do that um reality spin-off show. Yeah, he's been in he's been in plenty of movies. It's just like they were all low budget films. But yeah. again, Call I'm not, DVDs don't count, my G. Yeah, I'm not I'm not stressing on how much money he made. Okay. I'm saying that's what that he I'm has sure. the money to go out and create. He had the money coming in where he could make his own production company. And put his shit out if he wants. So there's there's no excuse. <laughs> None. You got steady streaming Except. income to do what you want to do. So no. I, hear, I hear what you're saying, Lamel, but he was never really like in that producer lane to start off. Right. He was the actor. So what I'm saying is the roles that 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 he was uh overlooked for uh because of his typecasting or because of what his his uh portrayal on film would, would, yeah. would, would do to to the movie you know what i'm saying i think that just kind of hurt him a lot and yeah. uh i think when, when you do get a chance to see him even in those low budget films he does i think he, he does, does a fucking job. Job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did anyone staying with the look at me right did anyone notice I got another one too after you jay go ahead that parking lot scene to me and I'm not the parking lot scene where he pulls into the Sixers parking lot and he's parked far from the building. And then you see all the players' cars where all the – you see McLaren, Lamborghini, Ferraris, yeah. like all that shit lined and up. Malibu. And the Malibu. And Malibu. In, in the <laughs> back out, right? And I just got started thinking about the NBA as a whole. Like being – like it makes me – I don't know what it's like. It mad, I couldn't imagine being in the front office – during the NBA lockout, when these dudes are driving Ferraris and Lamborghinis, I'm pulling in a la I'm on the road, miss nine birthdays, driving a fucking Malibu, and you. No, it was somebody. Uh, like it was somebody I, during the I, pandemic that uh paid the, the uh, front office salaries. I can't remember who that was. That was dope because I just kind of thought about that shit. Like, guy, I can't right? remember who that was. That's I'll shut them up. Think it's Kyrie. Right. Sounds like Mike Mark Cuban. I, yeah, I, I, no, I, I, he was a player. He was a player that did. Oh, Kyrie did that. Uh, I think it was Kyrie. It might yeah, have been Kyrie. Kyrie. Did it. I took his Malibu mentality as, you know, by choice. Like, it, yeah. even when he was saying it, it felt like nostalgic to me. When you really think about it, when they came, first came out with them bitches, though, it's like everybody was rocking with them boys. No, yeah, nobody. they had a whole movie. He needed, he needed at least a, uh, a, 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 a 2013 or something, Zoe. Come on now, nigga. That, <laughs> that shit stopping, Zoe. That was a police yeah. car. You were an undercover. Yeah. You were a detective, okay? Man. You were a top flight security. Malibu's right most there. wanted. Jamie Kennedy. Right there. I just felt, for me, it was more so the, I looked at it as like an example of the separation of wealth and the sac and the separation of sacrifice, right? Like yes. I get it. Like you're playing a game and you're giving up your body and you're away from your family. But this man has is eating shit, hasn't seen his wife in God knows how long. Like she's just asking, where are you now? You know what I'm saying? And is without his daughter. His daughter's living her whole life by herself. And then you see the wealth, like you have to be obsessed with the game to be able to make that kind of sacrifice. I thought, I just felt that's my takeaway from that shot. Maybe I'm reading, I read into things, but that's me. 
No, that's a good take. Yeah, yeah. because it, like I said, it was an homage to basketball. I mean, you could tell that there was a lot of love for the game involved in the uh, whole story, and that's why the story with his family was kind of uh, overlooked or oversighted. Yeah. But my other take on the look at me was uh, my man Kenny Smith trying to go into acting and shit. I right? don't know if it was or if they were saying his NBA career wasn't shit because they ain't Citing him as no NBA player, like damn, dog. Like, no, nah, man, don't do that. They showed the highlight. Yeah, yeah, they showed his highlight reel with the rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenny yeah. Smith is a champion, dog, and a dunk and a dunk competition uh competitor. Kenny Smith showed show his knees though. Look at how yeah, he was in the dunk competition. Yeah, them guys had knees knocked, boy. Yeah, they should have showed that highlight. They should have showed him on TNT kicking that soccer ball. <laughs> he show his knees. My man was shot from the waist up, or see yeah, the, sho- the shoulders up. That boy was from the shoulders up. <laughs> he was a legit talking head. Huh? Oh, hey, his man. acting was pretty natural, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, he didn't do bad at all. I liked it. I actually liked it, man. And you could tell he's done a lot of media <laughs> to even get to that point where he can yeah. be off screen and act naturally like that. And uh. Hey. Go ahead. This might be a reach, but low key, I feel like that whole TNT cast, him, Shaq, uh, Ernie, and um, oh boy, uh, Barkley, Barkley, damn near like an improv group. So this should come second nature to to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, eh, you can compare them to an improv group as much as you can compare us to an improv group. We don't know what the hell we about to say. (laughs) If we get up here and start talking, so no, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. We we're 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 uh we're outlaws, okay? And this is we're bandits. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. what'd you say, Charles? <laughs> we are not role models. <laughs> Raise your own damn kids. I got my I got one to worry about. That's it. I am not a role model. Shit, I got a clan over here, god damn it. Don't say clan. As a black man, don't say clan. No, we're taking that shit back too. We yeah. take it all. We take it all back. You've 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 said too many words to make me uncomfortable this episode. I what you trying to do with the fist in your mouth. What you trying to say? All right. Anything else in the look at me, guys? I like how uh, when the mom, how mom Dukes changed her changed her tone in her negotiation too. I thought that was a nice little funny. Uh, you say he's the best. You get the maximum, right? What's the minimum? Uh-huh. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> What's the minimum? Um, I'm curious from the business aspect though. Like, what? How is? What's the difference between what Adam Sandler was doing and what happened with the Fab Five back in the day, when the old when the dude was like just you know giving them money, helping them out until they get because they weren't getting money in college remember the guy um well they already uh went through that whole ordeal and found out that that's bullshit like they know it was bullshit and that's what they need these damn kids they these kids are bringing in millions and all of that shit so but i guess what was the difference between what adam sandler was doing and like when they say like an illegal scout that could influence um because it wasn't college it wasn't college that's it wasn't college that was the whole the whole ordeal Okay, gotcha. And kudos to them for finally pulling their heads out their ass and paying these damn college kids because not right. everybody like, that plays um, college ball goes to fucking the NBA, you dumb shits. Anyway, I'm sorry. Don't get me a, like, yeah, I'm sorry. I told you I met a D1 um, athlete and he told me what his schedule was like. And I was like, it's, work. Work. it's a lot of fucking work. Dude, I don't know if it's today that don't work that hard. Dude, like his day started every morning at 4 a.m. Yeah, but it's Dude. okay because we get a scholarship. <laughs> he, he gets a scholarship. <laughs> I was that fool. I was a fool for that. I used to believe that that was sufficient. Like you're getting an opportunity to like showcase your talent and get an education. Why wow, they make it millions was, upon millions off your on ass. back of a jersey. <laughs> like, I was wrong. I want to apologize to every athlete out there, regardless of your division. That was not my place. But like, yeah, no, he told me the man. Yeah, no, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Where do we want to go next, people? I'm bad with the transition, so y'all got to. We know this. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, you too. Okay, we get it. Yep. So I love the fact that they use all NBA representatives here. I thought that was dope. But in the plug in show. Hold on, Jay. Hold on, Jay. You got to let me know. Yeah. I don't think you have ideas to say. Oh, yeah. I'll let you do that. This is the Mr. Me Too segment. Uh, In other words, anything you could do, I could do better. It's uh, a segment where we take the cast and kind of rearrange some characters in there. It's like, who would you put in the movie besides this person? Okay. But uh, right. before everyone just says, to, you know, just to let the audience know where we're going, you okay. know, before you jump in there, Jay, go ahead. Throw out Kenny. Throw out Kenny Smith. Okay. Throw out Kenny Smith. You better call Tone Bell. He Stop. will. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no, not stop. Tone Bell Kenny, would have gone Kenny went crazy. That. Kenny went crazy. I'm just saying, who could have done it better? I think Tone Bell would have killed this. I think Tone Bell would have killed that that role. Ain't mad at me. All right. Because um, Kenny Smith deserves his flowers for his NBA joint too. That's why I was saying like. No, that's and that's fair. That's fair. All right, I respect it, but I'm just saying for the for the manager, you know, <clears throat> that you kind of like, Carl Tone Bell instead of instead of, uh, oh gosh, a bro that played Bo. Let Bo Bond be Bo Cruz. Uh, Bo Bond be Bo Cruz. Okay. okay. No, then that would have been a comedy. This would have been yes, a- <laughs> yes. That's what I want. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god! That fool would have did it. <laughs> no, we was kind of owning him on him earlier. That's who I would have recast and Hernan Gomez just to uh. Bring it to like you know a young superstar. I would have put somebody like Luca or something like in there. Luca, but, oh Luca, yeah, yeah. Luca's English isn't as. Wasn't good. he in it? He was, but mm-hmm. as a cam, he did a cameo. Yeah, he like, did a cameo he, in it. I thought but he was before uh, Allen Iverson on the Instagram. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, Ben Foster, take him out. David Spade. Who is Ben Foster? Ben Foster was the spoiled. Uh, oh, oh, okay, nah, okay, okay. Too old. Too old. Too old. I think. Yeah, David Spade was too already old. dust. I mean, shit. Was- David Spade, damn near as old as the father was. Yeah. <laughs> David Spade. Disrespectful God, David. as fuck, man. I agree. I agree, too, without hearing his ass. Like, <laughs> like yeah, wait a minute. Not as old as the father, bro. bro. Like, come on. <laughs> like, Oh shit! Do you think uh, if, well, if you you, not, you be nutrition dog? If not Queen Latifah, then who? Ooh, that's where I was going with. Uh, man, I was trying to think so. Like, should it be a black woman or another race? Like, does does it have to be an interracial relationship? To check the boxes, yes. Um, yeah, story, bro. It needed to be interracial. Bro, it has to be. For the story, it has to be interracial. Not even on. The I mean, what you gonna do? What you gonna do with the daughter if you don't? If you don't make it interracial? Well, obviously, the daughter would go if it's not interracial. But I'm saying for the story itself and the character that Adam is playing, I don't think I think his relationship would only go where he, it's. What about uh, Rosie Perez? For now, too, she too, 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 yeah, and too much of a correlation to the white man can't jump. So you would just automatically be comparing the movie to that. All well, I, I just had to think of people who was into sports, you know, yeah. uh, who had that, who had that natural energy. Queen Latifah does, Rosie Perez does. I know she's in the boxing. Would you, would you do like another, like a, a WNBA star as his wife? Cast a WNBA star as his wife, like um. I guess as far as like being able to do it, you would have to go like Lisa Leslie era or um she too tall. She too tall. That's too awkward. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do like you gotta do like <laughs> what <laughs> bro. the way he said not nah, that's too awkward. That's too awkward. Imagine her tall ass reaching down trying to kiss Adam and shit. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I got I got a swap out for uh for Kenny. Somebody I think could have seen playing that role. Uh Rob dude Snyder. From, oh <laughs> dude from Survivor's Remorse. Uh R- oh, Rubiaco. Yeah. Uh, oh the the manager in for yeah. Survivor's Remorse. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I like him. But to me, he's just the he's what Columbus Short should have been. And the only reason why he gets a look is because Columbus Short fucked up. Uh, let me get his name. Hold on. Uh, Survivor's Remorse. And Columbus That's Short only Riri- got a look. Riri- 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 White was the That's his name. Huh? Ririaco Lee. That's it. Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. There you I go. Said, I said Columbus Short only got a look because Steve because Jaleel White was Steve Burke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying now? Yeah, I'm with you. 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 I'm not mad at that take either. Um, Mel, you got a you got a Mr. Uh, swap out. Uh, but you could have put Jaleel White in uh Kenny Smith <laughs> low too. Yeah, you could have gave him more lines. I think that we need to be slowly reintroduced to Joe. I was gonna say connected. Uh yeah. Kenny actors. Kenny Smith will connect you to the basketball. Um, a little more, yeah, I get you in that. I get you. Somebody I I, I was gonna say, but I don't know because she might be too bad to be playing that role with Adam. And not saying Queen Latifah is not a beautiful woman, but uh, I was gonna say I could see Nia Long playing that. She's okay. married to a coach. That would have been a good one. That would yeah. be. A, that yeah. would have been a good one. She got the sports energy too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, and she, I mean, she, I don't know if she played, but she's definitely um, a fan. What about, what about Sanai? I knew you was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let Sanai hear. I see that. She bit Beyonce and shaved her head, Be Like, it's a duff for that, bro, for a minute. Like, I need – a couple years ago. We just going to let that – She bit Beyonce. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Still beautiful. And then shaved her head. Like, I don't know. She she's bit <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, I don't know shit. I just be reading blogs, man. You know, research. Yo. Uh, <laughs> ooh, bro. You <laughs> just let the girl heal, bro. Let the girl heal. Playing for my heart, fuck that. Yeah, I'm playing for shit. Love that movie though. Dang. I did try to do the I like the like yeah. <clears throat> um yeah, so anybody else? <laughs> wow. <laughs> It is everyone's favorite game show. Rename that movie. <laughs> kiss my, kiss my fat hairy ass. That's what he isn't that what he said to homeboy. Kiss my fat ass. Kiss my fat ass. And there was no hair. I apologize. I added the hair. <laughs> yeah, projecting right there. Nigga. Right there. Hey, bro. I can't. Re- what do you want? I don't feel comfortable reaching back there, all right? So it's just going to be what it's going to be. Right? I'm saying. It's going to it's gonna be what it's going to be, fam. Like, don't ask no questions if you don't want the answer. Oh, shit. Hey, you got to, like, oh, oh God damn. Prison. That's too p- close to prison for me. I can't. Man, the fact that you've ever thought about that. Right? Well, I mean, like, look. When they what? were talking about like you're getting your gooch licked, right? I thought, Whoa! Where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> you have to go. Like it would be polite to. Nah, 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 so like once you start nah. thinking about that shit, I was like, well, maybe I need to like work that out. But then I couldn't get it. I just felt weird, like squatting. Like I, you know what I'm saying? So I just. <laughs> then, drip, this is what you asked for. Right here, this bullshit. And, like, and so right. I just said, like, we're just gonna let a bunch of different out. views. But that, that's shit fly, bro. Let that uh, shit ain't no but. That's his view. I ain't got <laughs> no view on this motherfucker. Oh uh, man! Well, all right, fine, fine. So, so nobody hear manscapes. We're not talking about that. What am I doing? This is not. A Oy, they ain't even a sponsor yet. <sighs> my fat ass. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Sixers are paying. That was bullshit, though. I hate motherfuckers like that. It's because you ain't paying. Don't mean just go take <laughs> one chip out of the nine dollar Pringles. You're like that's just foul. You only take one bite. 
one bite out of five different cheesesteaks. Nah, man. A bite out of Philly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you Philly me? No, we're not doing that. Uh, it's in the air. Feel it in the air? No. You're not doing that either. <laughs> that one had no next day. <laughs> just that, that, that just died down. Guys, I don't know what's going on. Duncan Doe? I don't know. Nah, nah, man. Um, your mama a hoe. Works every time. It did, it did work. It got in his head. You know, Mom Dukes was a hoe. You're right. She's not a hoe. She throw that ass out for free. Okay, maybe I'm alone. Free throws. She throw it in a circle. Um, suicides or death? Because uh, if he didn't do the sprints, like it's going back to that uh, life, is you might as well be dead. Rebound. Oh, uh, second chance baskets. Uh, a bench prodigy. Don't do that. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Blue blockers. Uh, <laughs> pine cone riders. Um, pine uh, shout him out. Ball shout him out. Look at me now. The ball slapper. Leave the why are you that super gay, bro? Why are we being like the that? last boy scout? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That's, be, that's, be. that's a good one. That's I like that. Be, yeah, yeah. Do we have it? So you got something? He cooking, he letting it marinate. Nah. <laughs> I love that. Nah, it ain't coming today. Nah, that's it, man. Last boy scout it is. Let's close this motherfucker out. All right, there it is. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the official rename for um Hustle, which is currently on Netflix streaming, is gonna be the last boy scout. And the official score from the True View podcast is going to be a four. Very high, respectable four, though. Let's find out. One, two, three, three. Four. It is a three overall, but I don't like that, man. It's a very high three. Man, yeah. three I point, like three it point eight on our scale. Yeah. Uh, but well, we ain't no half stepping, Jay. You know what it is, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I hate to do it. And you know, it's I'm, in the ranges of the three, so I mean, it is what it is. I don't I, think it's cut this the training scene, elaborate on the relationship with the daughter. This is a five, yeah. yeah it's up here, funny. yeah. Give me Rob Schneider yelling out, you could do it out of the window. <laughs> from there. Oh, yeah. All of that. You add, all, you add them three elements, this shit is over a four for sure. Yeah, easy, easy. It's just, uh, man. I love what Ad, I love that. Adam, I love man. Adam, man. I yeah. love what he's doing. I love Happy Gilmore. I love, like, yes, or Happy Madison. It's Happy Madison, Happy Madison the, the production, production company, but um, man, dog, it, it, was, it, was a good, it was a decent movie. I I wouldn't mind rewatching this. I wouldn't mind recommending this. Um, yeah, it was decent. It was decent. It was a good little a good little You're, basketball. And, and you don't even need to be like a basketball head to do it because I like the little homage they do at the end where they show who to everybody the real yeah. shit. Yeah. So like you don't even need to be a full on basketball head, but if you're a basketball head, you gotta watch this one. And Anthony Edwards, sir, you are a fucking goat in the making. And we're, I'm excited for not only your career, but for what you can do. And if you want to make it to a major market, you know, New York is always throwing out that check. So 
Come they ain't throwing bring out no chips. To the rack. Really bring them to the rack. They ain't throwing out no chips. <laughs> I mean, is he going to win one in Memphis? Bring them to the rack. Well, he's not in Memphis Minnesota. right now. Either. Minnesota? Is he going to win one in Minnesota? He'll win one with Chicago. He's already trying to get out. He right? definitely comes to Chicago and get one. Oh, yeah. 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 Easy. But I don't think there's a player on Chicago right now that mentally can deal with him. Cause I feel like he's gonna come in and he's gonna like treat him I like think he's gonna fit perfect. I was gonna say, you don't think ball deal with it as much as shit as he deal with with his goddamn daddy? Put him with Levine and Ball surprise. He is out. Zach is Zach is waffle colored soft, bro. That boy is out. Zach, um, what you gonna call it? Uh, ball has dark skin tendencies, so I could see him staying, but I feel as though the rest of the team is if you like, if you well wait, wait, if you count Zach out, you might as well count Julius Randle out or somebody. Oh, yeah, Julius to, right. Julius needs to go to therapy. That motherfucker gotta go. That that <laughs> mm, out of here, but he got to go. Sorry, not the man. I man, take that train. You Julius for Zach. You gotta give me somebody else with Julius too, though. I tell you what, I'll give up Julius and Burke for Zach ooh, and Kobe. Ooh, ooh, I might do something like that. Y'all y'all me, no you got someone to give you a trade, y'all. Y'all gotta give, give y'all gotta give all my trade. Y'all not yeah, y'all don't have no cool. size. And if I and Julius will so, really the re- so recommendation you watch ability and Levine. Let's go. Um, and watch that. Got some Kenny Smith knees, though. He kind of got some Kenny Smith knees. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess. He, still, he still got like three. Y'all leave Kenny no, knees like, alone. No, God damn shit, it. Dog. He got them. They, they <laughs> getting there real quick, <laughs> dog. He early yeah. in his career. I mean, we might get two more. Come on, Zoe. Help me out. They're going to keep <laughs> rattling on about this. <laughs> two more years. Two more years out of them knees, bro. Uh, but I like what I'm not giving up. And I keep seeing that shit in the scouts, in the scouting. Every now and then they For throw sure, him in the trade. I'm not giving up Obi this one. and I'm not giving up fucking um that little Canadian uh, motherfucker. I will be rewatching. Um I know my son true. gonna run this shit. Oh, you can take care. I'll take Barrett. I'll fuck with Barrett though. I, I love Barrett. Him. Like he's hey, not Barrett cold. Barrett's cold. You can take Reddish. Join that group, so you go <laughs> Reddish on his side. God damn it. I didn't get to see what that's what I'm saying. Y'all got reddish. Y'all got to give me one of them young boys, too. Now, that's what I'm saying. I'll get rewatchability. Reddish, if you give me Alec Burks, got them names, dog. I got to have, I got to have him rewatch. They're going to be watching watch the finals, too, too, man. But what y'all can do is go watch us at TrueViewPodcast.com where you can like, subscribe, share, oh, comment man. on anything. I'm so Every glad the Celtics turned it around. Yes. For what, like, podcast. Also, over there at the YouTube, out the Warriors. Though. So thank you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. And go ahead, share us. Hey, Draymond, beat that all powerful algorithm. Trying to hold a black pod. Too much. You talking? Four three two podcast. You You already know what it is. Let's go. Come on, Jay. You can't talk over the plug now. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize it was on the post. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Shout out to you, people, man. Thank you all for listening. Where we did y'all with recommendations? Surprise. Real quick, oh, yeah. rewatchability on y'all. Yes, recommending it. People gonna hate it, but I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna recommend it. That might rewatch it. This could be. This is an easy watch for me. Easy, easy watch for me. But that's Adam. That's Happy Gilmore. I mean that's happy uh Madison, you know, like that's yeah. what you get. same thing. <laughs> Pretty much. Same thing. What about you, Mike? Uh yeah, I recommend it. I rewatch it. It's not necessary to rewatch it though. I mean, because uh you got Hernan Gomez in here killing shit. I don't really believe it. So it's it just <laughs> that's why I say you know what that go, are you? that's the yeah. that's <laughs> I'm telling y'all. A big sir, baby. That would have been this would have been a funny ass movie. We would have been that di- anyway. I'm sorry, y'all dragging um, me. Back. You could have used you could have used the uh Trey Young running mate. What's his name? Bogdanovich. That more cold too. That is he is cold. Does he speak English? Yo, listen, man. They could have used the Greek free. No, nah, man. The dudes that they Any Greek? countries with con- none but consonants in their name, like those motherfuckers, they're second, they're Broken English is really bad. 
It's really bad. Like you, it's worse than homies. Yeah. Throw a book of the Peppo in there. Yeah. Anyway. Go watch some shit. True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> Your boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> you're, you're, you're.